Welcome back to Terraria 1.3 Extra Mode. So here we are. We're going to fight the B, I believe. Uh, one thing really quickly, though. I have all of the swords right here. I also have the uh, Hell Armor. What's this called? Molten Breastplate. And I also have the Fossil Armor, just in case we want to switch it out and find the Queen Bee. I'm not exactly sure yet what we're doing uh, against the Queen Bee, but I got potions and stuff. And I should be ready to go. Where do I make this? Do I make this at an anvil or do I make this at the, uh, I think I make it at a crimson altar, don't I? Where is the closest crimson altar? I have no idea. Is there even, like, any crimson altars nearby? I don't think there is. Maybe we'll run to the crimson and then run to, uh, back to the jungle. I don't know. But yeah, Queen Bee. We got the Cascade. Superior. Just, uh... Just upgraded it. And got our little frog leg here. I don't know why we got this. Probably switched to the yo-yo string. But the frog leg's been pretty useful. I don't know if it's helping me jump with his bunny right now, but other than that. Oh yeah. Sorry. I yawned. Alright, uh I don't know if it's been helping out, but it feels like it's been helping out. Uh on the bunny. But when not on the bunny. Hell yeah, it helps out a lot. Uh oh. Excuse me. In the way. Damn slimes. If you notice my cursor is highlighted. I don't know. Uh oh. I did this uh mainly because I wanted my I lose my cursor sometimes and I saw that people were doing this. I'm like, oh this looks pretty cool too. And so I did it. Now we shouldn't lose our cursor at all. Cause there's the occasion where I lose my cursor. Uh, I used to lose it all the time, but then, uh, like, I don't know what happened. I got, like, a better... I just stopped losing it all the time, and now I can see it even more. But on the occasion, I would lose it. Especially, like, a ranged weapon. Or even just using a yo-yo, I'd lose it sometimes. I want to see what that dude has for sale. Maybe we can make that goblin tech. Because we have the uh, metal detector. What we need is the DPS meter and the watch. I don't remember. Well, let's head up here. Uh, I already have a plan for what I'm doing once we get to hard mode. Once we get to hard mode, I'm going to come here to the Crimson. Do a little bit of fishing, see if I can get a specific weapon from fishing here. Uh, and then we are going to fight the Goblin Invasion. See if I can get a certain weapon from fighting that. And, uh... Should be good, because the Goblin Invasion, well, I'll talk about when we get there. But for now, we will just enjoy, enjoy our life in normal mode. Because it's nice and easy in normal mode. Here we go, we can make Knight's Edge. Strong Knight's Edge. Alright, we're going to head back, we're going to see what this dude has for sale, because I do have a rabbit, so I am extremely fast. Uh, we'll put away my sword, too. I don't need this. Okay. Quick stack. Uh, is there anything else that I need? I got all the potions I need, I'm pretty sure. Heart reach might be good to have. Okay. Where's this dude? Alright, he's up front. Hey, Mercer! Uh, I don't refund for buyer's remorse or for any other reason, really. Less well, rude. It's a crimson cloak. That's five gold. Is a diamond ring. You're fucking retarded. Who would buy that? Take the stopwatch. I might have to take like the DPS meter from uh let's place up. Take take the DPS meter from another another uh character. Yeah, we got the knight's edge. I'm ready for this baby. 50 damage, that's crazy. Gives me a reason to use a sword in pre-hard mode. I hate using swords in pre-hard mode. I guess I hate using swords in general. I don't know what's up with me. I just, they don't feel fun to use, ever. It's like, oh yeah, you gotta, you gotta get really close to fight. I like yo-yos. Yo-yos though, man, I'll use those any day. But yeah, let's go fight a B. And let's go win on our first try. Am I right? I don't know how hard she is in single player. I hope she's pretty easy in single player. I don't know though. I feel like I'm pretty prepared. I got like the molten armor. But let's, let's head on over. Damn, I forgot I had these boots too. Like, I'm... I can stay off the ground for a while. 
And I did take off a lot of my dyes because I started not liking how I looked. Like weird. I don't know, I just kept it on because it had a it had a theme to it, a spunk to it. But let's head on under. To the beehive. Uh which is somewhere down here. <clears throat> Sorry, I just woke up. Like not too long ago. I didn't like drink anything so I couldn't clear my throat. I'm gonna do that right now. Hold up. Hold up right here. Right. Let me just you guys can stare at my inventory. Damn, I got 99 torches. When did that happen? I don't remember that happening. I don't know if I'm using the bone glove uh, in this fight at all. Well, I will use it in this fight, maybe. Probably. I don't know if I'll use the armor. I don't feel like the armor has is going to be 100% uh, used in this fight. Whoa. Didn't even double tap on purpose. I always do that. I double tap on accident. It just sends me flying, like sometimes I'm fighting and then next thing I know I'm just like flying everywhere. Need to eat a poison, that's really good. Hey B, that's a hornet. Hey hornet. Hey other hornet. Uh oh, sword him. Sword this guy too. Oh. Okay, so here's a beehive right here. I'll drop in from the top. Jesus Christ, like even the bees are strong. Hey, dude. How you doing, bee? Uh oh. Let's be a little bit careful here. This is an extremely small beehive. Who came up with this beehive? The fuck is this? Hey, that bee. Oh, God. Still alive. <laughs> okay. We'll just, we'll just make it a little bit bigger, alright? Shouldn't be too hard. I don't know, we're getting our ass kicked by these fucking bees, holy shit. Why are they so strong? We feed these bees like some drugs? Holy shit. Look at my health. Being destroyed. Okay. This is still extremely small. We'll work with it. Not really, I, I really want it to be bigger. I don't really want to fight her underground, if I'm being completely honest. I kind of want to fight her above ground. I'll just fill in the whole thing. I know you can have like a one one whole gap in between, but I'll just fill the whole thing because I don't care. Alright, might have to extend this to the public. Get out of here. Might have to extend this out here. Just because. I want this to be... What the fuck? I didn't even see that thing. Those ones I see. Little tiny ones I can barely see. Okay. It looks good. Alright. I like this. A little bit more uh, freedom. I'm not liking this though. Enemies, on the other hand, they gotta go. They gotta go. So we'll do this. We'll just create a little barrier here. Keeping us away from any other enemies. A bug fell. All right, what's going on over here? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh, let's get a campfire. That will help a lot. And uh, we'll extend a little bit this way now. Sorry, this is boring to watch. It needs to be done. It's something that needs to be done. I don't want to get destroyed when fighting. I have a bomb. Make it. Uh oh, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Alright, you know what? That works too. Uh oh! Whoa! Jesus Christ. Oh, there's one in here? Oh! Holy fuck. These are some OP ass bees, man. Alright, I need more platforms. Give me another sticky bomb too. I meant to throw the sticky bomb at this. Oh, I made a workbench. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah! What the fuck? Can you not kill all of them in like one spook? That's dumb. I thought of that. I should be able to kill all of these in like one hit. Alright. Holy shit. This I can deal with. This I, I will deal with. 
see you, little fucker. Oh, his, he's the first bee to drop a heart. Holy shit. Like, out of those, like, ten blocks I broke, like, nine bees spawned out of it. Okay. This should be good enough for me. Uh, I'm gonna let my health regen and I'll be right back, I guess. Okay, so I decided that we're gonna take off the lightning boots for this, uh, which may be a dumb idea, but the frog legs will hold us up here. But, uh, I don't know. This isn't smart. I don't wanna do this anymore. <laughs> no, I'm fine. Oh. We got this. Under control. Look at this. Buffs now. And we do the buffs. Uh oh. Alright, this is the part where I wanna get a good use out of the glove. Because I feel like this is gonna be the best part for the glove. Alright. Right here is gonna be yo yo territory. Yo 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 yo. Queen B, how you doing? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I wasn't just putting this. Yep. Yep. Alright, come on up, bitch. Come on up, bitch. I'll fuck you and your bees up. Ooh. She getting the glove. She getting the glove of doom. I feel so slow. <laughs> without the fucking... Without the uh, lightning boots on. But the three defense from the frog legs, man, they help. Whoa. He ain't even making noises now. Oh. You can't hit me when I'm this low. You can't hit me when I was that low. Boom, 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 boom. Uh-oh. You need to chill out. Whoa. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. All right, come on. We're getting sloppy now. Oh, she's on fire. All right, what you doing? What you doing? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. what the fuck? Excuse me. That's not a part of your AI that I... Uh-oh. 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 Oh, 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 give me that. Give me that. Did you guys see that? Give me that. I hit her with that shit. I hit her with that shield bash. Okay, this wasn't that bad. I'm gonna start talking now. The fight isn't over, but I'm gonna start talking now. It wasn't that bad. Oh, oh, come on. How did I not hit her with that one? Alright, she doesn't have any health. Okay. That was, that was too bad. I'll admit to that. That was pretty damn easy. Ooh. We didn't get anything useful for me. <laughs> I mean, we got the hive pack, which is not, still not useful to me. Mainly because we didn't get the beekeeper. And I wouldn't have used the beekeeper. I wouldn't even use this hive pack either. This is kind of the drop, only like one of the extra mode drops that upset me the most. I can find it useful though on, uh, uh, what's it called? A mage or a summoner if they use like the hive gun. And I'm actually doing a major summoner playthrough on my other character, but it's not an extra mode character. So it doesn't matter. And thank God for it not being an extra mode character. It'd be ten times harder. For no reason. But yeah, I don't find any use for that hive shit. It doesn't seem useful whatsoever. And I was thinking about, like, yesterday I was thinking about before fighting this boss. Or think about, like, the game plan for this boss yesterday. I was like, maybe I can find a use for the hive gun. And I was like, no, I can't. I can't. I can't lie to myself. There's no use for it. Uh-oh. I can't fly. I can't hover. Alright. Let's equip this. We're gonna get this honey. Just in case we want to fight her again. I don't see... Oh, actually, no. I do see a very good use to fight her again. And I might fight her again just because of that use. Is there another beehive somewhere in here? There's tons. Alright. Uh, did I loot that chest? I don't think I looted that chest. I'll be right back. I know we got all these pots and shit active, but I don't really care that much. It's, uh, she wasn't too bad even with the pots active. So yeah, I'm gonna go fight a couple more of them. And, uh, we should be, like, preparing for our wall of flesh fight, which is gonna be crazy. And I will be using the bone glove on that. That's a definite use of the bone glove. Because the bone glove has got that DPS. Uh, something that's like an alarm clock going off. DPS to the point of where I can pierce through multiple enemies. And that's a lot of damage being done. If I can do that to the wall of flesh and his uh, eaters. Or whatever the hell they're called. The hungry. Yeah, that's what they're called. The hungry. But yeah. Be right back. I'm gonna go fight some more bees. Uh. Ooh, ooh, ah, the witch doctor has arrived. Isn't the witch doctor... Oh, what the fuck? These people need to... Uh, isn't Uwa the witch doctor, isn't that a hard mode only NPC? 
I'm pretty sure that's a hard mode only NPC. I'm not 100% sure, but from I remember that's a hard mode NPC. I don't know, I might have to go check it out. Okay, so uh, I beat the other one. I barely beat the other one. Like one second before I can heal and then that just put it in the bag. I was at like 20 health. Strange plants, reflective metal die. Fuck that, that die is garbage. You can have this, man. All right, here's the witch doctor. I don't know how she's living in there. Wait, is she really living in there? What? Uh, oh, I just broke something. Uh, at least may help you, yeah, help your body, but I can make you embody healing. Ooh, that's hot. Not really. Uh, imbuing station, that's actually really good. That might actually be really useful to me. Uh, and then all these fountains are really cool. I wanted to make my house have a better design outside, but I never got around to changing it. Because I kind of like this. It feels like a little bunker. And I talked to uh, Raleigh. Raleigh? Raleigh? I don't care. Uh, let's see what's in the fucking treasure bag. Trash, like always. Who would have thought? Hey, here you go, ma'am. Want trash? Can't even sell you that. I'll keep the hat. I really wanted the mount. And I don't really want to fight the bee again, but I guess I'll do it one more time. Just because. But we got this, uh, this potion stand here. This allows us to make more potions. Uh, I'll fight the bee above ground. Uh, that will help a lot. And let's just see if there's anything I can quick stack. I'll throw this hat in here. I don't really want to carry that around. Oh, I didn't even get like a bee mask or anything. I'm not getting anything cool from fighting it. Can I quick stack there? Alright. Well, we got the... Wait, what do we need? Hold up. I'm gonna buy the life form analyzer because I don't think I have it. Yeah, I don't. Not on this character. Hey, Raleigh. Give me that. Thank you. Alright. Uh, so we got the menacing metal detector. We got the DPS meter and we got the stopwatch, which is in the piggy bank. So let's check out the piggy bank. Boom. This. We should be able to combine all three of them into goblin tech. Displays movement speed, damage for a second, and valuable ore. Bam! You know this thing isn't like 100% useful, it's still really cool. To have stuff like this, I don't even know, you don't even have to equip it. I equipped it on accident. Alright. But look how fast I am. Now look how fast I am. What about this? Alright, so I reached my full speed on Rabbit. Yeah, I dropped down like... Was that four miles per hour? When I'm not on rabbit. Rabbit's 38? Yeah. Okay. Now that we know what's the fastest way to travel is the rabbit. It's the rabbit. And I feel like I've known this already, so I'm really I'm not really uh ashamed of not knowing that. Oh, I have a lot of gold on me. Should probably store all that. Alright, so that's gonna end off this episode, because I don't really think there's anything else we really need to do. Uh but we're going, hell is the next stop. I gotta make probably the longest bridge in history, but I'm gonna go and tr try and find another bee. Uh, and this one's gonna be fought above ground. And hopefully I can take it on. I'm gonna use potions for this against the bee. Uh, just because I really wanna get that mount. If we get that mount, it's gonna help us a lot in wall of flesh if we run out of the floor, run out of uh, the bridge we're gonna build down there. But yeah, we'll see. And I'll see you guys next time. When we fight him. Wait a minute. Now we got a party girl here. Fantasy the party girl. Where is the hell are these people? Are you kidding me? That's where my NPC's been going. I haven't even noticed that yet.